hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm mangesh and uh, yes in previous video we have seen how do you select statement now let's go ahead with uh, filter data option guys in uh, ms excel it is very easy to filter the data see this is what the excel file under my excel file i have a table that table name is emp and uh, if i want to check how many people are working in department id 10 so i will filter out to department id column and just like this i can easily get how many people are working in department id 10 these are the people are working in department id 10 and how many people have more than 9000 salary under same department so i can filter out to the salary column and i can see there are two people who have more than 9000 salary 9000 and more than 9000 salary. so it is very easy in ms excel similar way we need to check in sql also how we will filter out the data here uh, uh, i have the same table uh, uh, it's a select employee id first name last name department id and salary that columns i have fresh from the employees table so we need to learn where clause here uh, you can see the same option in the ppt also what kind of conditions we can use in where clause those practical practicals we will cover in these videos uh, and option is also there to filter out the another another column at a time you can filter out two or more columns as well so these are the conditions which we need to use under where clause so jump to the practical examples we will learn all these examples see uh, this is the uh, employees tables uh, employees table under employees we have total 107 records are already exist you can see here and i wanted to filter out the people who are working in department id 90 so i will continue with where clause so semicolon remove it and uh, let's start using where clause where which column you need to filter out i want to filter out department id column department underscore id is equal to 90 so let me execute this query you can see here there are three people are working in department id 90 so equal to sign you can use for number no problem but i want to know uh, see uh, i want to filter out the name called as steven first name how many steven available in my company like that so here i will change the column name because i want to see steven and here in single quotation mark you need to use that word without spelling mistake so there are two steven working in your company one is a steven king and another one is a steven markle so in this way you can filter out the data okay i wanted to know uh, steven whose salary more than 20000 so again you will continue with and clause because where clause you can only use once and uh, salary greater than 20,000 one two three so first name is the Steven whose salary more than 20,000 that record got fresh in the output you can see here so uh, these are the comparison conditions you can use under where clause and and clause uh, we have a equal to greater than greater than equal to less than less than equal to not equal to okay uh, not equal to means what see i'll tell you one more example here i have a department id column okay uh, under my department id i have multiple columns but i don't want uh, department id 50s records so i will use like this not equal to 50 excluding 50 all departments will get fresh here like this okay excluding 50 all departments id got fresh here uh, then uh, after that uh, we have some more options which we need to learn uh, between an and in like and null so let's plan one more example for between and and uh, i wanted to know how many people have salary between 2500 and 3500 so i'm going to filter out salary column between lower lowest value i'll put here and 3500 now look at my output see 
these are the list of the uh, people who has salary between 2500 and 3500 so these functions uh, you can use for the date dates also in my table i have one more column called as higher date and uh, i want to i wanted to filter out the people who joined in uh, in the year of 2007 how many people joined in 2007 i want that list so in where column uh, i'm using higher date under higher date column uh, dates between now we need to use the same format which is there in my table so my format is like this uh, dd it means date 01 dash jan uh, 07 this is lowest value and 31st dash dec dash 07 i'll get the list of the people who joined between these dates who hired it so let me execute this query and you can see the output so these are the list of the people who, jo who joined you in that date in that year actually so you can use between and end function mostly for the transition dates also now uh, let's move to the next example uh, that that is there in the PPT uh, in what is the use of in if you want to filter out multiple records now I want the details who are working in department ID 50 also de department ID 60 also and department ID 70 also but that time I cannot use is equal to sign over there so where department underscore ID is equal to 50 60 oh, again I put 70 or 90 like but equal to sign is not a right option in instead of equal to you need to use in option so you'll get this use control enter so 90 then 60 all department rows got fridge multiples pattern you have filter out with the help of in clause and if you don't want this then use not in operator over here not in so it will exclude 50 60 and 90 and others rows will get fresh here look at the output okay uh then uh, go to the my ppt what are the options are remaining uh there is a one more important like like mostly used to match the pattern in uh, sql like uh, i i wanted to know how many people's name starting with yes character s so first name where first name column i'm going to filter out first name column my condition is like uh like uh, okay s and percentage it means what name starting with s percentage it could be anything sandeep santosh whatever it is so let me filter out these records so these are the people whose name starting with s those got fresh here so here this percentage sign denotes multiple character it denotes multiple character after s it could be anything and uh, underscore sign will denote some uh, one character so what is the use of underscore that i'm going to tell you in this video okay now my condition is what how many uh, first names uh, second character contains o first character can be anything first character can be anything but i want second character as a o small o and after that whatever it is it will tell me how many people's second name uh, sorry in first name second character shows o so let me execute this one look at this john joe's in uh, i got those people in their first name second character is o is present over there like that if i want to match uh, some pattern like how many persons contains this sh sh in everywhere like so what i'll do is percentage sh percentage so it will give me the list of the people i have only one person under whom that sh pattern is available so you can search that entire pattern in that column so in this way you can use the like condition also so you must be aware of what is the rule of that percentage sign what is the rule of that underscore sign uh, if you want to match sh pattern in anywhere then percentage sign 
here can be anything here can be anything between you can see this pattern only so like used to match that pattern in sql so i'm going to finish this sql query uh, sorry video here in our next video we will learn some more example on uh, others like uh, not null is pending and group by clause is pending uh, we, in, uh, in our next video we will learn group by clause order by clause and uh, null one option so i'm stopping my video here see you in the next video thank you